everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. And tonight, we'll see the New Orleans Pelicans as they go up against the Memphis Grizzlies. Hi, everyone. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me, Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And as always, the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, joining us from the sidelines. And a quick look now at how the Memphis Grizzlies' schedule is shaping up. On Thursday, they'll head back home to host the Indiana Pacers. And then on Saturday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best. But if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. The lengthy post tandem for them, Jackson and Adams. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. And it's Conchar into the small forward position. And for New Orleans, the front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. C.J. McCollum out there with Daniels. And it's Valanciunas in at the center position. And Greg on paper, this looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south in a hurry. Now here's Williamson. And here's Ingram from the arc. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. Now here's Morant. Pass to Conshaw. Bain with the screen on McCollum. Here's Morant. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Morant's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Grizzlies. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Alan Junis sets a screen for McCollum. For three, it's hauled in by Adams. Memphis with the ball. Hey, Greg, gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies team. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy chip on their shoulder. They love to compete. New Orleans has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Ingram passes to McCollum. Back to Ingram. Count that one. And this is what you want more of. Ingram has to keep being aggressive like this. Morant passes to Adams. Pass to Bain. Over Daniels. And there's Bain. That's good on the assist by Adams. I know what they say. Defense wins championships. But you need some bucket getters too now. Ingram outside. Alan Junis sets a screen for Ingram. The rebound by Steven Adams. And for the Grizzlies, they come in off a good outing against the Thunder. Morant dishes to Adams. Outside, Bain. And the three ball is good. Bain's got five points so far. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's the pass to Daniels. Morant against McCollum. Pass to Ingram. Alan Junis sets a screen for Ingram. Five to shoot. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's Morant. Coming in off a 21-point game his last outing. A great score. Morant showing his poise on that shot. It's truly hard to exaggerate just how explosive Ja Morant is on the floor. No, well, because there is no exaggeration, Greg. It's just whatever you say and you see, it is impressive, and he is elite. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Jones comes in for Dyson Daniels, and it's Jose Alvarado in for C.J. McCollum.
The explosiveness of Moran is just incredible. His motor and work ethic are both tremendous as well. Ingram against Bain. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Williamson. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? And he's got his first chance at the line here. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he'd like. One shot. Line the length. Line the length. One shot. That free throw good from Williamson. And when he's healthy, Zion is a force, an athletic freak who makes an impact on both ends. Has to be from outside the arc. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Bain's got eight points. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now here's Jones. He averages about uh, five points a game. Back to Alvarado. Here's Ingram. It's rebounded by Memphis. Clark left side. Good D by Williamson. Bash is the bucket play like you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss those. The steal. Morant right side. Misses his second shot in four attempts from the field. Pelicans trail by five. It's Ingram on the wing. Guarded by Bain. And he gets the bucket. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Outside, Bain. <laughs> Cranes the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. It goes on Brandon Ingram. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. So for the Pelicans, Cody Zeller's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Trey Murphy comes in for Zion Williamson. And McCollum subbed in for Ingram. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Luke Kennard comes in for Morant. has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. McCollum against Bain. McCollum outside. Zeller passes to McCollum over Bain. And McCollum the bucket on the assist by Zeller. Potent with and without the ball. McCollum is a tremendous spot-up shooter. Desmond Bain getting it done for the Memphis Grizzlies. And it was from three-point range where he did the most damage. He knocked down three in that quarter. Back to the action in just a minute. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers. Spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. Now Smart. Still without a basket. The guard set is Alvarado and McCollum. Herbert Jones is out there with Trey Murphy. 
and it's Zeller in center. That's the Pelicans five as we get into the second quarter. And that's such good work to make this a one possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. The pass to Tillman from past the arc. Drills it from outside. And Greg, with back-to-back -back games part of the schedule, how do teams feel getting into the latter part of that combo, like tonight? Well, these games can be especially taxing mentally and physically. At this point, it's a warm attrition, and really, you can survive the night. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Jaron Jackson Jr. is a prolific shot blocker, but blocks aren't his goal. He said, I'm playing the game to not foul, but make it as hard as I can. And if I block it, then cool. Avoiding those whistles is key. John Morant says of Jackson, his defensive presence is big time for us. We're a totally different team with him out there on the floor. Kevin? They are indeed. Hey, DA, thank you. And so it's Memphis with it. And the Pelicans picked up three with their last shot. Outside, Smart. Jackson setting the pick here for Smart. Outside for Jackson. Five on the clock. Rose finds Jackson. Here's Tillman. No good on the triple. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Right wing. Passes it to Jones. Zeller, a screen on Kennard. Here's Jones, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. New Orleans shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And that one misses. New Orleans making some changes here. Ingram comes in for Cody Zeller. And Dyson Daniels subbed in for Jose Alvarado. Williams, he's checked in for Memphis. And he sinks the second. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. McCollum against Smart. Jackson setting the pick here for Smart. Pass to Kennard. Now here's Williams for the three. And Jones pulls it down. This is to McCollum. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Fires it up. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. And known for the jump shot, Ingram needs to keep firing away with confidence from that spot. Smart passes to Tillman. It's rebounded by New Orleans. They traveled to Memphis last time they faced the Grizzlies and came away with the win. Well, last time out, they got the win in large part because of the play of their bench and they provided a lot of the scoring punch and you can tell how important having depth is for them sometimes it's the difference between a win and a loss now here's smart still yet to score and the foul on dyson daniel that's his first foul williamson is checked in for the pelicans jose alvarado comes in for cj mccullum Here's Morant. He has five. Pass to Concha. Memphis moving it around. And Adams kicks to Bain. Just four to shoot. Trying to get something going. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Here is Daniels. He dishes it to Ingram. 
New Orleans needs to get off a shot. And another three for New Orleans. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now, here's Bain. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. The pass to Clark. The layup missed. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. Alvarado passes to Ingram. Takes it from 10. No good off the back of the rim. How about that hard nose D in the paint right there? Nice job. Yeah, he's got great position, and it makes it a really tough shot, even from such close range. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Morant. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Kicks it to Daniels. Williamson a screen on Clark. Ingram. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Pelicans on top, up one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Taylor Jenkins is here with us in the second quarter. Coach, tough sledding at both ends of the floor. How do you fix it? You know, it hurts our offense, and we're not able to get stops and get out and running. So not a good quarter for us. You know, we just got to keep being aggressive defensively, be a little bit more disciplined. And we'll see if that can pick up as the game continues. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Welcome, everybody. Let's jump right in with a look at the Players of the Week. In the West, Nikola Jokic. The talent of the Jokers being recognized. Big achievements for the big man from Serbia. He's one of those players that can win at any time. Yeah, he's asked to do a lot, I'm telling you, but he ends up doing it, and he gets a lot of triple-double, Shaq. And what about Brandon Ingram, fellas? We've seen some good stuff from him in this game. Taking his time on offense has allowed him to get into a rhythm. A rhythm. And his teammates are getting him the ball. So the rhythm. He could do something. With it. Yeah, that's not only putting up the points, but that's putting a great beat to it, Jack. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. One, two, 
second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. It's been a clinic out there by Desmond Bain. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. Kicking off the second half, here's Taylor Jenkins' five. The lengthy post tandem for him, Jackson and Adams. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. And it's Conchar in at the three spot. Now here's Alan Junis following the miss by John ja Morant. And that one's good, Williamson. Where the league is now, Greg, on any given night, we sometimes see a team fall flat. Is it just luck of the draw? Sometimes players are tired, and sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital. Setting that standard for others to follow. Inside, Morant doesn't have an obvious advantage, but his moves, look, they'll get him to the bucket. Alan Junis sets a screen for McCollum. Floats one up, and the shot goes in. McCollum's got the lead back up to four now for the Pelicans. Memphis has gone five of eight from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. Morant with it. Seven points in the game. Floats one. The shot misses. Good D by McCollum. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And yeah, he, he's 280 pounds. We've never seen anyone hang in the air like this young man. Williamson is special. Here's Morant. Zion Williamson making his last shot. Jackson has the open look and the three off target. Rough start to the second half of them, only getting one of the past four shots to fall. To the inside, here's Ingram, and slam dunk by Ingram. And what an athlete Ingram is. Elevates up in the air with such ease for the dunk. Here's Bain, 15 points in the game. Adams finds Morant. A three-pointer is right on target. Morant's got five points in the quarter. The backcourt today as good as it gets. And, and they've earned the green light every time they touch the ball. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. Zion Williamson is, of course, unique athletically. His teammate C.J. McCollum says, I don't know if we'll ever see somebody with that strength, power, speed, and jumping ability. At times, the Pelicans' offensive game plan becomes simple, McCollum said. Get the ball to Z and get the heck out of the way. Kevin, I'm paraphrasing it. I, I know you are. <laughs> I picked up on that, David. Thank you. <laughs> First one falls. And a bruising, fundamentally sound big man. Valanchunas is a throwback. More importantly, he's willing to play whatever role is asked of him. Jones checked in for New Orleans. The Grizzlies also making a change. Tillman's checked in. Valanchunas hits them both. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Bain passes to Concha. To the middle. Got a piece of it. Stolen by McCollum. Passes it to Jones. Second chance shot. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Jones has got five points so far. The Grizzlies trail by nine. Morant outside. One forty-four left in the third quarter. He gets that one. Not the best pick I've seen, but like, hey, look, he got the job done, and that's all that matters. And here is Ingram. He's got eleven. Alan Junis sets a screen for Ingram. The rebound by Steven Adams. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. 
Morant with it. Now Valanciunas defending. They get the rebound. Tries again. They shoot again. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And this is who Ja Morant is. He just doesn't quit really getting after it on the glass. The Grizzlies have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Zeller, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Trey Murphy comes in for Ingram. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Adams. Luke Kennard comes in for John Concha. And Marcus Find Smart is subbed in for Bain. One shot. Morant, no good on the free throw. Pelicans leading by five. McCollum outside. Zeller setting the pick for McCollum. Zeller inside. Hasn't made one yet. Got it. Good job in the low post. And that's his strong suit. The ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Morant, he's just a smart... And stolen by Williamson. That fall. Nice feed that time for McCollum. Williamson's got 10 points in the game. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Moran kicks to Clark. It's good in the New Orleans. Lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Morant. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Clark, a screen on Williamson. Morant, that's for two. And so it's New Orleans bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page, woo! And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. New Orleans leading by seven. Zeller is out there with Trey Murphy. Then it's Jose Alvarado. Then it's Daniels. And it's Ingram in at the three spot. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Uh, a natural-born scorer. Ingram is a walking bucket. And he can beat you in so many ways. Now here's Rose. Over Daniels. And it's Rose missing. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Good work there as it goes. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Right side, Smart. Trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. Good, and Smart gets the assist. This is when a near seven-footer like Jackson delivers tough inside scoring. Pass to Zeller. And here is Ingram. Kennard covering. Here's Zeller. Can't hit from in close. The Grizzlies trail by nine. Bows looking around. Pass to Tillman. It's deflected. Alvarado with the steal. The Pelicans have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Hit by Zeller. Jacks up a three. The Grizzlies pull it in. 
and not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Now here's Rhodes. And Gennard wide open. He shoots. No good on the three. Pelicans leading by nine. Zeller, a screen on smart. Inside, intercepted. Now here's Rhodes. He's covered by Daniels. Outside, Rose. Lock at six. Shot from the low block. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Zeller's got his fifth rebound in this one. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. He kicks it to Ingram. Takes the three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Ingram's got the lead up to 12 now for the Pelicans. A solid shooter from outside the arc. Ingram is fantastic at realizing when he should take those shots. Now a timeout called by Memphis. So for the Pelicans, Valanciunas is checked in for Zeller. Williamson comes in for Trey Murphy. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Jose Alvarado. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. I caught Taylor Jenkins' message to his team. They said to the team, I know you guys are tired, but let's end this game strong. Let's get the win. Big last stretch here, guys. Thank you, David. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Down by 12. Adams with the screen on McCollum. Morant, that's for two. And another miss by Memphis. The Pelicans have gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 158 left in the game. Here's Ingram. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Morant. Battles through traffic and lays it in. John Morant's body control and ability to take contact and stay focused is so impressive. Ingram outside. Kicks it out to Williamson. Down low. Here's McCollum. Gets the 14-footer to fall. And the Pelicans lead by 12. What a professional. McCollum's reliability on offense is such a gift to his team. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Also relying on his skill there. That's a nice move against Lang. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Pelicans. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And you also have to applaud how they've attacked the interior in this game. A lot of points happening for them in the paint tonight. Pelicans leading by nine. And there's the pass to Daniels. McCollum against Morant. Takes a shot at the elbow. McCollum no good. 
Memphis has gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Passes it to Valanciunas. Goes back up. Adams, a nice D. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Stolen by McCollum. And here we go. Williamson heading to the hoop. And Williamson throws it down. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Now here's Morant. Pass to Bain. Three-pointer. Trains the three-pointer. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. Absolutely, and they have to continue to go to him. And Valanciunas kicks to Daniels. Picked away. Payne for three. Morant. Massive points from Morant. Willing to take the big shots. There's ten seconds left in the fourth. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Personal foul. First team foul. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Jack Morant. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Pelicans, Gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And when you think of McCollum, the word efficient comes to mind. This guy just shoots the ball and plays the game at a high level. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They trail by eight. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. And I'm sure Coach is encouraging them to play to the final whistle. Then they can get out of here. for three. Buries it from outside. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him, just let him roll. And he commits the intentional foul. Third team foul. At the line for New Orleans, C.J. McCullough. Two shots.
First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Now here's Morant. Misses the shot. So we see the Pelicans get the win here. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And now we present the New Balance Player of the Game, C.J. McCollum.